But before all of that, they've delayed the curtain coming up in the West End to be with us. So let's welcome Jake Woods and Cheryl. <laughs> Hello, but, well, welcome to you both. You. Welcome. Thank Imagine you Imagine people us. have bought tickets and you're here. <laughs> you're not even where you're supposed to be. We told them. Be. We did tell them. Yeah, we did tell they them. They know, yeah. do they? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. on board. Good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And um, Cheryl, we haven't seen you for a while. This yeah. is amazing that, you know, we now see you in a play. Yeah. How are you finding it? Are you enjoying it? I'm absolutely loving it. It's, it's always nice to try something new, but this has really exceeded all my expectations. Brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed oh, it. That's nice, isn't it? And also our cast members have been amazing, which really helps. Yeah. Well, 2.22, a ghost story. Now, this is right up my street. I'm coming to see this. Um, tell the audience, then, what they can expect, because you play Jenny, don't you? I do. I play Jenny. I'm a school teacher who's been having lots of weird experiences in my home. My husband in the play is a sceptic. OK. And I'm trying to get him to listen to the issues I'm having, but he doesn't believe in any of it. What and I then, like is that there's a clock on the stage that's obviously counting towards the time when yeah. something dodge happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a dinner party and Jake and his girlfriend attend. Not Jake, Jake's character, Ben. Yeah. And um, it all goes, well, evolves or devolves yeah. <laughs> throughout the night at the dinner party. I'm already a little bit on edge about this, you know. <laughs> just that whole kind of... Are you scared? Of, well, just, you know, the way that Cheryl just put it ghosts? there, you know, getting it, weird experiences in the house. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that. Are Come you a believer? On. Come on. Yeah, I'm one of them where I it's like, if you believe it, worry, they're going to come fine. see you and right. be like, tapping on your shoulder <laughs> in the night. So you so. do deep down believe? I, I'm trying to just... I'm not saying it, all right? <laughs> I'm not saying it. Jake, you got, you're playing the role of Ben again. You've played yes. this role before. Yes. What was it that made you want to come back? Um, well, yeah, no, I was lucky, very lucky. A year and a half ago, did it with Lily Allen. Again, Lily had never acted before. She was amazing. And, yeah, just the opportunity to do it with, you know, Cheryl and new cast. Um, and the play has been on in the West End constantly for the last year and a half, nearly two years. I think it's the 500th performance tonight yeah. of 2.22. Um, so, yeah, it's been an amazing uh, amazing journey, really. It's such a privilege to come back and, yeah. and uh, do the character. Is that... It's just an amazing play. It's great fun. Is it interesting doing it with kind of like new actors who have not gone into this space before? Yeah, well, it was, uh, you know, incredible to do it with Lily, Lily Allen, who, as I said, never acted before. She did an amazing job. And Cheryl's exactly the same. Like, she's absolutely smashing it mm. every night. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it's good for people, I think, to see people do other stuff, you know. I think sometimes yeah. you would get known for doing one thing. Of course, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Cheryl's just stepped into it. She's been active like six weeks and, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's blowing everyone away, so it's... Uh, well, a, a little bird told us, though, that the director gets a bit cross with you two because <laughs> you mess about too much. Now, is this true? It's him. <laughs> <laughs> it's him to be fair, it's, it's a ghost story, so people think it's scary, but it's actually really funny in parts. Well, more so his part. And I think when I first acted with Jake, I wasn't ready for his comedic timing. So I did, they call it corpsing. It's a new, a new thing yeah. for me, but All right. it's when you fall out of character on stage. And I just burst out laughing one night, just in front of the audience on stage. And <laughs> we have We've struggled, yeah. We've had emails uh, from... Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the bosses. He can't Rain look at me. Yeah. Grown ups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's not, you... not my finest moment. <laughs> Got a bit of fun, on you? You used to do a bit of stand up, though, didn't you? Apparently. Yeah, yeah. I did, years ago I did the one man show in uh, Edinburgh um, Festival. Yeah, sort of years ago, probably twenty years ago. How was it? So yeah, it was terrifying. Is um, you know, like to do stand up comedy is very difficult, but something I really enjoyed. So yeah, but it was years before EastEnders. Yeah, but, um, you I kept think... that one quiet, oh, Jake, didn't yeah. you? Well, you know, so I've done a lot of things over the years, yeah. So yeah. I've been acting 40 years, so it's, uh, so it's a long time. So. And is it right that you've got regulars now that come to see the play and you can kind of spot them now? They must be, you know, we have. your fan, Cheryl, coming to see you act for the first we time. We have. I mean, one of them, she said she's been 22 times. Mm. She... 22? It's 2.22. Yeah. Are, that's what yeah. She won't come again. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, though. I think when you've been to see the play without seeing too much, you want to come again just yeah. to see different aspects of it. Right. You, that you may that. not have noticed the first time. Oh, so it changes every now and again. You, you've joined a list now, haven't you, Cheryl, of, of, of musicians that have taken on this role yeah. in 2.22 in particular, or even just taking their role into acting. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is it, what are the synergies, you think, that, you know, from being a pop star mu musician that help being an actor? I think it's, um, all of it's just entertainment, essentially. That's why I love the idea of being in front of a live audience again, rather than doing anything on screen. It's that live, yeah. in the moment, 
energy exchange, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially with this play, you really feel the audience participation and they laugh at the jokes, they freak out at the scary yeah. bits and mm -hmm. you can feel their... It's like an energy exchange, which is not that different from when you're performing well, it, a song. Yeah, it's all performance, isn't it? Yeah, it's all performance based. Um, Amelia has been in touch and she said, what's been the most memorable moment that you've had on stage so far, both? <laughs> Probably laughing oh, with really Cheryl. Corpsing, yeah. To, yeah, corpsing, yeah. Enjoying yourselves. Yeah. Uh, Luke says, Cheryl, uh, now you're dabbling in the world of acting, would you ever join uh, in a soap like Jake? Uh, and what kind of character would you want to play? Oh. Love you lots. Oh, <laughs> I love Very you nice. too. I think um, when I went to see 222, I just knew it felt right for me and, I, and that I would feel comfortable in that role. So I think it would have to be something that gave me that same feeling where it just feels right. Yeah. Um, maybe a drama or a, something gritty, I think. Yeah. I'd like. Something that grabs you. Yeah, yeah, something gritty. Here we go. Watch oh. this space, <laughs> yes. everybody. Exactly. Cheryl's coming. <laughs> <laughs> a gritty drama near you. <laughs> uh, well, Cheryl and Jake are Skyrian audiences uh, in 222, a ghost story at London's Lyric Theatre, including its 500th performance tonight, right after our show.